Can you hear that? Yes, that's rain. But that's a good thing today. Some of you ask about the picture I can get from the wing on Echo Yankee Zulu. It's from a GoPro Max. It's the 360 degree camera that sits here on the wing. We have an engineering order from CASA which approved this mount, this housing that we have, the way that I actually bolt it onto the wing. It's all approved through the regulator and it gives us those epic views. I love it. One of my favorite cameras, that one. It's like when you buy a new iPhone. We can, we can only do this once. You can just peel and then it's done. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> That's really good. Hey, oh, you one missed more. one. You missed oh, one. Miss one. A lot of time in aviation, you want clear blue skies, perfect weather conditions. But today, what I'm actually after is bad weather. Not bad, bad weather, but just what we call low IFR. So conditions where the visibility is not as good as it could be. The clouds are a bit lower than you'd normally go flying in. Even a bit of rain around like you can hear today. So I'm flying with my instructor, Rob. Now he doesn't normally appear in the videos. And when I get asked, do you ever fly and not film flights? Well, yeah, I do actually, especially all my training and educational flights and my tests. I never normally put those on YouTube, but today I've asked Rob if I can film this one because I think it's going to be interesting to you. And he said, yes. Oh, Rob, I'm just going to resign over it. Sorry. It's pointed at me, don't worry. So, <laughs> if, you, if you're in the corner, you're in the corner, you won't see you. But because it is an instructional flight and I'm going to be concentrating quite hard, that's why I'm doing this introduction now because when we're actually in the aircraft in a second, I'm probably not going to be talking very much on film because I'm going to be focusing. So less chit chat, more technical stuff. That's what this video will be. I think you'll like it though. Echo Yankee Zulu is uh, in the southern run of bay. Re request taxi for 17 left departure to Anagi and we can remain outside controlled airspace. Echo Yankee Zulu, I'm going to your holding point golf. From my one to left. Holding point golf, one seven left, Echo Yankee Zulu. Echo Yankee Zulu, uh, score code 4302 and three miles, 1717 1357. 4302 and three miles, 1357, Echo Yankee Zulu. And then, yeah, it'll be a climb, it'll be a left turn, and not above 2500 until we're outside, and then we'll climb to four. Would you put four in here now? I'd put, put two and a half initially. Two and a half. That, think about if you're in control of airspace, they'll say, don't give you clearance to two and a half currently. Because that way you don't want to go above it. So that's your prompt. So yeah. it should, you know, whistle and sing and dance at you when you get close to it. Remember Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu is ready, holding point golf, upwind departure via Anagi. Echo Yankee Zulu Tower, 17 left, clear for takeoff. 17 left, clear for takeoff, Echo Yankee Zulu. So 500 feet, caps is now available. Make our left turn onto track. That's a thousand to go. I think they've changed that now. Because oh, I was doing two and a half before, wasn't it? Oh, sorry, no, 200, 200, 200 feet. So it was, just yeah. doing, it was doing approaching, not the thousand. Okay, you do it, stop for a second. Okay, you do go ahead. Uh, there's a 1200 paint at about uh, almost two miles into 12 o'clock. 2200 verified on the Anagi track. Copy that, we'll keep an eye out. Uh, about to go to IMC. Echo Yanky Zulu. So you're outside three miles now. So you can yep. adjust your height. Now I can do that to four. four. And go to 1357. That was centre, Echo Yankee Zulu, passing 2,500, climbing 4,000. Echo Yankee Zulu, good day, it's an identified. Echo Yankee Zulu. So what would you do with ice protection on your rope? I right probably now. wouldn't have it on at the moment. No. Are you picking up any ice? No. So the first signs of ice, I know it's not an anti-ice, but the first signs of ice, I'd probably start putting it on. Or if it starts to get really colder and you get large drops and whatnot. Even at this temperature yet, you're still not getting ice. Plus we've just taken off, we're not cold soaked. Yes. Think about the skin temperature still, what, 15 degrees? Any small amount of ice that could potentially build up will, won't, because it, it's still warmer for now. An hour yeah. or two into flight, maybe different scenario. All right, so now we're obviously in a rain shower. Well, not um, necessarily a rain shower. See, that just could be moisture in the cloud itself. You see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. so you look at the windshield, it's just moisture that's hitting it. It's yeah. not raindrops, not raindrops, rain okay. Or oh, very small ones. So it's just the passage through the cloud is putting that well, moisture across got, the aircraft. Cl clouds full of moisture. Yeah. It depends whether it's, you know, how much of it's gone into water before. Yeah. Cleveland Centre, Echo Yankee Zulu, currently maintaining 4,000. 
City Yankees Zulu, Melbourne Centre, good afternoon, area Q&H 1013. Do you have any airwork plans? 1013 and uh, negative, but we'll just be going back in via the uh, on app from Moravic Sierra Alpha back into Moravic. Thank you, Yankees Zulu. Roger, you're still planning to go via Anagi, was it? Anagi Sunti? A firm, so it'd be an Argy, Sunti, and then inbound to Rambin by the INF. Echo Yankee, Echo Yankee, Zulu, uh, copy that. Is that via Sierra, Sierra Bravo? Echo Yankee, Zulu, and A firm, we will be going in via Rambin, Sierra Bravo. Echo Yankee, Zulu, copy that. I'll just update your flight plan. Echo Yankee, Zulu, thanks. In days like this, Rob, I don't have a problem with. I'm yeah, very comfortable up here behind us. So that over there, that's what we came through. Because what? there's nothing particularly convective in there. No, like, even that. There's nothing particularly to the right. Yeah. The nine. Yeah. You know, you may get a few bumps going through it. Yeah. You know, like we've got stuff off to the left there slightly. It, none, it's just cumulus building. None of yeah. it's you know either towering Q, but none of it's CB type of material. And so on a day like this, when the freezing level is six, I know terrain uh, for us isn't too much of an issue, but that's why I can stay at a height like this and just go through them basically. Yeah. Like this. Yep. yeah. We just went through that little cloud. Yep. Still nothing there. Still nothing there, yeah. And I'm looking at the leading edges. The, the stall strips are a dead giveaway. The leading edge of the stall strip. Camera also picks up that one. Yeah, also get wood. icing on there as well. So, yeah, your telltale signs would be things like that. Bottom of your windows. Because otherwise you'd just be going through TK fluid. So no, there's no, perp no point having no it. No point there. right now. Level Centre Echo Yankee Zulu currently maintaining 4,000. We'll be inbound on the 35 right island to Moravin. Yankee Zulu, good day, Centre. You know it's 3 in Moravin. There'll be a uh, short delay. You have a track to Sierra Alpha to hold there. Track to Sierra Alpha to hold uh, Echo Yankee Zulu. Do you want to do something different? Yeah. You want to hold? Tom will hold a Sierra Bravo. Okay. Uh, Echo Yankee Zulu request. Can we hold at Sierra Bravo instead? Yankee Zulu, it'd be your pattern there, but that's, uh, there's no up for holding at Sierra Bravo. Echo Yankee Zulu, we'll do that. Thanks. Okay, hold. hold at waypoint. Yep, so the inbound will just use the inbound. 344. Four. But 344. Four. Right hand standard, but yeah. Yeah, go right. Go right. So that's yep. standard. So that's the inbound course. Okay, thank you. So it looks like uh, if you make a sector entry and one pattern, it might be an additional one, but I'll let you know. No worries. Thanks. Echo okay, Yep, so load hold. Load hold. Yeah, nice. That's better rather than deviating across there. Yeah, yeah. 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 And because it's uncontrolled, we can. We can request that. Well, we yeah, can say that we can space, so you can request to hold at Sierra Bravo one minute right hand pattern. One advantage of being in and out of clouds at the moment is less likely a VFR traffic to watch out for as well. That's true, yeah. Okay, Inky, so we went ready, can track uh, to Sierra Bravo, and there's no IFR traffic for the 35 RMP approach. Okay, when ready, we'll track to Sierra Bravo and then inbound on the 35 right on F. Okay, Inky, so we we're on the approach, so I can do pre landing checks, so brakes check, undercarriage down and off, mixture full, which fuel pump goes on. Which is a set, Peter Heat is on, we're in the cloud. Secure on the right, Rob. Yep, thank you. Thank you, Yankee Zulu. Contact Raven Tower for airways clearance. Raven Tower for Echo Yankee Zulu. Raven Tower, Echo Yankee Zulu is inbound on the 35 right, on Ave. Received Romeo, currently in cloud. The other thing I was going to say, but I'll sort of sidetrack with that, was just watch your speed, because you've probably gone a little bit too slow at the beginning. Okay. We're back at 115 knots before the FAF. Right, which we need 120, 120 minimum. minimum for B. 180 to 120. Yep. yep. After the FAF is when you can start slowing down and put the flap out. Take one yep. stage of flap, which we're after now. So we're yep. after Sierra Fox Trot, so I can do first stage. And then you can hold about 100 knots here. We're circling, so you can hold 100 the whole way in. And Echo Yankee Zulu is visual. Echo Yankee Zulu, break off your approach. Turn downwind on way 17 right, number one. Downwind, 17 right, uh, Echo Yankee Zulu. Uh, this is why you can get into trouble on circling approaches, isn't it? Because Correct. there's a lot going on now. Lot going on. You can slow, slow, slow. That's why that bit of flap helps you with a bit of buffer and stall as well. I mean, it's not full yes. flap, but it gives yeah. you a little bit of margin. Plus, it gives you a more of a comfortable attitude and speed. Thank you, thank you. Uh, when uh, it's about two one zero degrees maximum two zero, so the maximum crosswind of one five from the right. Runway one seven right, clear to land. One seven right, clear to land. Okay, absolutely. So this is where people get in trouble. Stereo runway. Yeah. Getting slow. Yeah. This is, this is traditionally where people stall. So, so keep a real eye on airspeed here. Minimums. Yep. Minimums. And continue.
Thank you, Rob. That's all right. I really Enjoy appreciate it. that, as always. I learned so much when I fly with you. Just came in for a nice little passenger flight. Yeah, when you start falling asleep for me, that's when I know I'm doing okay. How do you know I wasn't asleep? I'll check the footage. <laughs> I'll be able to see. You rat bag. <laughs>